today I'm gonna be showing you how to polish your Gorilla Tag fan game, like how to add hit sounds, vibrations, computers, and a good map. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm in my tutorial game. This is what I use for tutorials, basically. In the last video, we added multiplayer and a full body to our game. So go follow the last video because you're gonna need the last video, like the multiplayer for half of the stuff in this video to work. So just, just go follow the last tutorial if you haven't already. So, and like I said in the intro, I'm just gonna be polishing up the game, showing you how to polish it, like get hit sound scripts in in a bunch bunch more like vibrations computer a better map basically just like the index of your girl tag fan game the main part also i have a little virus uh, um get a plane so to do this i think i showed you this in my first tutorial is pro builder pro builder is basically like the blender for unity it's really cool you can do a lot with it but to to use Pro Builder, it's kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna be like, like a quick recap of that. Most of this other stuff you won't need. What you want to focus on is the two, like, like not the two, what the the one, two, three, four, five, six orange things. New shape, new poly shape, smoothing, vertex colors, UV editor, you know, material editor. You get the thing. A lot of other things won't matter that much. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click new shape. And again, if you don't have Pro Builder, follow my first tutorial and show you how to get it. So click new shape, then what, click, it's gonna give you like a wide variety of like things to just like mess around with, like better shapes than just the plain shapes you get. What you wanna do is you wanna get the plane. So it's right here, it just looks like a square. You wanna get the plane. It's not a sprite. It looks like the sprite. They kinda look the same, their icons kinda do, but it's not the sprite. You wanna get the plane. Then what you want to do with the plane is building stuff in Pro Builder is kind of weird. So like you hold and then drag, like kind of like that. You want you need to keep holding though. And then you have your plane. This is basically going to be the start to my map. I'm going to scale it up. This looks much better. Now what we need to do first is we need to click on this. And down here in your Pro Builder, I'm going to click subdivide object two times. Then it's gonna look like this, you know, like the subdivision surfaces. I don't know if you know, but it's the squares on the shape are gonna like scale down and there's gonna be more of them. Then on the top, in the top right here, you should see like these four things. Click on this one, like the second one and this should pop up. And then you can like make your map basically. So click on one of these and then go to your move tool and you can kind of like, like, you know, scale it, make it like, look like actual terrain and not just a cube, you know, you get it. So like, as you can see here. So yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool looking map. Now what you want to do is you want to click the third thing up here. And what you do basically is this like selects edges. You could like move them up when you select one, kind of like that. You don't want to do that. Instead, you want to use this third tool and you want to hold shift and select all the outside edges of the plane or slash floor of the map you just made. Holding shift basically selects more than one at once. So you could select every single one of them at once. If you don't hold shift, it's only going to select one and that will be all messed up. So hold shift and just select all these edges of the map. Then all of them should look yellow and keep holding shift and then use the up tool and bring it up like this. And then boom, it pretty much looks like a map already. But if you want, you can keep holding shift, go to the scale tool and then kind of like do like something kind of like this. A lot of people have like double maps now. So like there's like, it's kind of confusing. There's like two stories to the map. Just keep holding shift and then do the normal scale tool. And then it will kind of look like this. It might look a little messed up. What you want to do is just do the move tool without holding shift. And then boom. Now it kind of has like a second story type of vibe or a second like floor type of vibe. So yeah, that looks kind of cool. And then we could just hold shift and then do the up tool if we want to make like walls for this one. 
And then if we want to make like an inner wall so they can't escape the map, just hold, just let go of shift and then hold it again and then do that. Use the up tool and then, then let go of shift and use the scale tool like that. And then again, if it looks like kind of directed towards one side of the map, then you can just use the move tool without holding a shift to bring it to like that area. And then boom, it looks like a map pretty much. Now there's one downside to this and that's, it's all selected in one. You know, it's all selected to, into one map. I know exactly how to fix this. So like, like it, if you try to drag like a material onto like the ground right here, it drags the material onto the whole thing. So to fix this, just come down here and this fourth tool is the face selector. So you could select certain faces and bring them up kind of like that. What you want to do is you want to select every single face by holding shift, select every single face on a, like, I don't know what to say, a plane or a ground that you want to have a different material than the rest of the map. So I want this to be a grass material and I want my walls to be concrete. So I'm just going to select all of these. As you can see, they're all selected now, like it should be all yellow. And what you wanna do is you could stop holding shift and they all should be yellow. And you could, on the Pro Builder, there's gonna be a lot more options cause you selected a face. But don't ignore these, and instead just click detach faces right here. Then you could add like concrete to everything. You could add like concrete to the walls while well, this will still be grass. But then again, if you have like a double map, just do that same exact process on the other type of floor, kind of. So yeah, and then you can just click detach faces on that and then add grass texture to that. And then it'll look like this. It looks like pretty good. And also, I, I might have explained this in the last video, but if you guys have trouble finding materials, what you could do is like go to Discord and then like there are a few like Discord servers that like have like a section that says post materials here and then people post like some really good materials there So yeah, you could check them out, I guess So now we have this really good map and it's all separated So if we want to grab one part of the map like the ground right here It will only grab that part and won't grab like the whole entire thing So yeah, this is also gonna be good for our hit sounds what we could do with our hit sounds is first we need the hit sound script and we need the sound to get hit. So to get the script, head over to my Discord, link in the description by the way. So now I'm on it and you're gonna see Unity in coding and scripts. Go to coding and scripts and then it's gonna say vibration script or hit sound script. So for vibration script, download the script And then download this Easy Inputs Fixed Unity Package. Then for hit sounds, just download the hit sound script. There we go. Now I explained this in my last video, but to get them into Unity, what you wanna do is go to your assets or go to your scripts folder. So since I'm importing scripts, I'm gonna go to my scripts folder. I don't know why I already have the hit sound script in here. I'm just going to delete that. So to get them in here, right click, import new asset, and then go to your downloads and then import the hit sound script and the vibrator script. You could just select both of them by holding shift and then import them. Now what you want to do is when you get the um, hit sound and uh, vibration scripts in. When you're in your scripts folder, right click, import package, custom package, and then import easy inputs fix, the one that you downloaded in my Discord, just click open. And then for me, it says nothing to import, I'll ask it from the package already in your project. But for you, it will show um, a line of stuff uh, and that are all checked. Just click all right here and then click import and then it will import.
Now to get vibrations working, you wanna go to under your Gorilla Rig, your Gorilla Player, left and right hand controller, and add the vibrator script onto it. Then on your left hand only, check left hand, and on both of them, make the amplitude 0 0.15. Or you can kind of mess around with this. Sometimes I like to make it 0 0.20 or something like that. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's just like, if you do too much, it will like, won't work, I guess. So yeah, do that. That's just like the better way to do it. Then that's vibrations. There's one thing though. On your left and right hand controller, make sure they both have a tag called hand tag. To make a tag, click on tag, click add tag, and then click the plus, and then just like name it hand tag, like this. Dang, that's like a spelling. This capitalization and everything, and then just click save, and then add that tag onto both your right and left hand controller, so just do this and then do hand tag, and then um, you want to make a layer that's called left to make a layer just click on layer then click add layer and then just name it name like an empty space in this layer thing left and then while you're here just name one right then on your left hand controller you want to add the left layer and on your right hand controller you want to add the right layer now what you want to do is make sure that i i think i explained this in my last video i might not have Make sure they has a spear collider. So to get a spear collider, just search up add component and then do the search up SP and then find spear collider right here. And then on spear collider, you wanna do, make sure that the radius is 0 0.06. I put an O there, 0 0.06. Make sure that's the radius. And that's pretty much it. So now just save, and then you should have vibrations working. Now for hit sounds, what you wanna do is you wanna find a hit sound. Again, you can find lots of good hit sounds on like Discord, so let me just show you really quick. I recommend a few different Discord servers, like, you know, the, the, the developing hub basically has a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. Like if you scroll down, it's gonna say hit sounds and stuff like this, but you wanna go down to Unity and then post hit sounds right here and then you can find a bunch of hit sounds. Here's one, that will work. Then download it, just click its name right here. Then it will download. Then to get it into Unity, what you wanna do is make a new folder called hit sounds. To make a new folder, just click the plus right here and then do folder and then name it whatever you want. I already have one. And then to get it in, what you wanna do is you wanna right click, import new asset, and then do grass and hit sound that you just did. Then add that script, the hit sound script, on to the place you want the hit sound to go. So I want the hit sound of grass to be on this grass. So I'm gonna add the hit sound script onto it. And then go to my sounds. And it's gonna say grass hit sound and it's not gonna let you add it. What you wanna do is you wanna drag your grass hit sound into the inspector like this. Then drag the audio source on to the hit sound. <coughs> Same for anything else, I don't want this to be concrete. I'm just gonna drag the hit sound script onto it. Then I have, um, let's just do dirt, because why not? I'm just gonna drag the dirt sound onto that and then drag the audio source into there. Then boom. Let's just go ahead and save. That's how you add hit sounds and vibrations. And the map. But there's a little bit more. What about like a computer? So adding a computer is actually like one of the easiest things ever. It's like not hard to do at all. So link in the description, I'll have a Google Doc, credits to Be Awesome and The Irish Santa, cause they, The Irish Santa made this script and Be Awesome, I found it from him. So yeah, there'll be a Google Doc, 
in the bottom go to that google doc or whatever it is and just download it so for example so it's gonna like bring you here just click the download right here and then wait for it to download like that now what you want to do is go to your assets right click import package custom package and then find the computer package and then click open then click all and click import <laughs> then it's gonna spawn some stuff in like all this I'm just gonna make like you know a base for the computer like this pretty much I'm gonna add a quick material to it or something like that all right I'm just gonna rotate it in the way I want the computer to be bring it down like like that now I have like a little stand for my computer I'm just gonna like clone it and then scale it down. <laughs> then we do that. And it has like a little seat. Now to get the computer on the stand, what we need to do is go to your assets. And this should be here. It says computer. You just want to drag it out like this. And then boom this is a name computer it's all set up so you don't really need to do anything else uh, you could decorate it however you want like you know it doesn't like you know this this model of the computer kind of looks like ugly you know it's just like white and stuff and like blue and like black at the back it just like does not look good kind of just like floating you know you can change it but I'm not going to because it's just a tutorial um, you can add hit sounds to it, so when you hit it, it will, like, you know, make, like, a click sound or something. Now, there is one more thing you need to check, and that is, in your assets, click on resources, click on Photon VR, then click on player. This should be your player model that you added last time. There should be something like this that says player name. What you want to do is you want to drag that right under your player model. So, make sure it's this player name. Drag that under your player model. Like drag that over it or under it. It doesn't matter. Like you could add the player name anywhere. Like you could add it on their chest, like gorilla tag, like anything pretty much. But I'm just gonna add it over the head right here. Like that. And that is where your name will show up in game. So for example, I'm just gonna like uh, give a quick little example. Come over here, madam gonna like get its left hand controller and as you can see click the button it like says s right here and it says s above my head what the how do i just teleport and it pops up above your head and on the computer so yeah that was how to polish up your gorilla tag fan game let me know in the comments what other tutorials you want. Like, I could do PlayFab. I could do a bunch more. So just comment that down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.